Great. Thanks for sitting down with New Mexico Entertainment Magazine. So, this is going to be your final album, right? It is. Do you have big plans for after the album? Yeah. Well, um, the album comes out, it was supposed to come out in June, and it got pushed back until uh, July 25th, I believe. Um, and then after that, I mean, we're still on board to let off until July, and then, yeah, we'll just hit it hard right after that. We go straight to the UK. And then we come home for a little bit, and then it's like Singapore, and Philippines, and Australia, and all that stuff. And then we come back, and we do a final like U.S. tour, like 35 shows. Like that. So your final album does not mean you run away anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, everyone thinks like, oh, final album, we're ending right after, but we have a full year, basically. I mean, we'll probably end close to the end of the year. Okay. Do yeah. you have big plans on what you're gonna do afterwards, or are you gonna take a little time off and enjoy yeah. just being? I mean, yeah, we've been on tour pretty much straight for like 12 years. So for me, I am looking forward to like just kind of being in one place at least for a little bit. Um, and I'll always do stuff with music. You know, I, I'm sure once I stop for a little bit, shortly thereafter I'll get back into it and just get You'll the itch. Yeah, of course. And um, so I'll always work in music for sure. Probably even quicker than I think afterwards. But I am looking forward to just. Living in a city, you know, it feels like once we home. start. Yeah, 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 I don't know what that's like. But uh, yeah, because once we started touring when I was like 15, I feel like I've been. It's been like one continuous tour. You started touring at 15. I did. So did you have to finish high school on the road? I was already homeschooled, oh. so I just uh, ended up working on tour and I did all that. I took my SATs and I graduated and everything. But I did all the majority of my high school on tour. That is really impressive. Yeah, it was tough. I should. I looking back. Looking back, I I maybe should have studied more. I mean, I did enough. It was like, but I feel like I was. You know, I mean, it was tough. We were in a van. We were touring. You know what I mean? Traveling and all that stuff. So it was tough to like do it. But I made myself do it enough to be able to graduate. So. I'm impressed. Yeah. Thank you. I can't say that. A lot of people that started touring that young either end up dropping out or you know getting a GED or whatever, which is fine. But. I was pretty uh, adamant about getting a diploma and finishing high school. So you're going to go to college when you have a nice stable residence? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if schools for me. We'll see. I mean, that's always a possibility. I think I would have to, it would have to be very specific. It would have to be like, I'm going to school for this. You know, I, I just think that's... You want how to learn how to make a movie. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, exactly. Something that I know that is what I want to use. But just to go to college, just to, I think that... Uh, You've got the experience. Yeah, I think so too. I hope, hopefully, and, and with the people that we've met and the connections and stuff, I'd like to stick within this industry a little bit. Um, and I've already set up plans to do other things after um, in the different industry too. So we'll see. Who knows? I mean, we just gotta make it one day at a time. Nice. Yeah. That's impressive. I can't tell you how to graduate. <laughs> Thank you. So you said you've been touring since you were 15, mm -hmm. and you've been in the same band the whole time, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Does the band become your family when you're that young? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the first few tours that I did, I had my older brother come out. <laughs> my parents, you know, they met him, and they knew him, the guys, but, you know, let it, they were all older than me as well. So it was They were all adults, right? Yeah, yeah. They were all, I mean, kind of 19, adults. 20. You know what I mean? So they, at that point, <laughs> it was older, for sure, so technically adults, but... Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Only they were adults. adults. Yeah. No, but they were great. I mean, and obviously my parents trusted them enough to, to let me tour them. And, um, they kind of watched over me. And, uh, so, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is the first few years that we toured too. And there's a couple of the uh, years that we toured like ten months out of the year. So, I mean, that's yeah, was with them more than my own family. So, um, yeah, absolutely. They're like brothers. And, uh, yeah. And one of our guitar players, he's been on this for, I think, seven years now, but with the other guys, been all the same members. Right. Really it's definitely family, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Do you have a hard time relating to people your age? I know you did when you were younger, but do you still have a hard time? Because you've been out there and you've done so much and you've yeah. seen so much more than... Sometimes. I mean, it just people. depends, you know. I have, I have a lot of friends that I grew up with that have all kind of left and kind of gone around. And so I don't have a ton of friends at home. I have a few, um, but they're all older as well. Like I kind of, being thrown into that situation young, I was kind of forced to grow up more. Right. And so I feel like I connected with people older. Even my, even my friends at home now are all older. Yeah, older than I am. Well, they're yeah. not older, but you know what I mean? They're not. I only have a couple friends that are like my age that I can, like you said, like connect with. And, um, 
Well, most people your age haven't been to Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You certainly yeah. haven't gone around the country hundreds yeah. of times. I think <laughs> it, you know, it changes you a little bit, but I, I, it, it was like so refreshing coming home and having those friends that I, that were just there. You know what I mean? There's something nice about just being like... Ordinary time. Yeah, just from home and we're hanging out. And so I always look forward to that, going home and just kind of having... That's why I'm really looking forward to even a longer break for forever. You know what I mean? To be able to be home and like connect with those people again. Now you're gonna move back to your hometown, or yeah, are you I still looking to? No, I'll live. I I think that from traveling, I mean, from early on, we've always made a point to go overseas too. So we really have. I'm mean, so thankful, but we've been like traveling all over the world to where it was like. I think that made me love home even more. You know, because I got like not out of my system, but like a lot of people when they just stay in one area, they want to move somewhere else because you know they've only been in one area. For me, I was moving all of my childhood and all my high school years to where now I'm just like, I want to like live in, I don't know what it's like to like live in a city, you know what I mean? It just be, so I've lived, I mean, my parents have, where I grew up, they're still in the same house, and so I've never lived anywhere else, and then my wife and I live in that same city, and so I love it. It's the only place that feels like home, because traveling is so much fun, but as soon as I get back there, I'm like, uh, home. And I think if I was to leave and move somewhere else, it would almost feel like I'm just touring again. You know what I mean? It wouldn't feel like, I'm actually going home. Yeah, so I, I definitely have plans to kind of stay there for good. It's just nice. And so I'm a, from a massive family, so the majority of my family lives there. So. There you go. Yeah. So you started this so young, you've been doing it for so long. Do you have any advice for up and comers? Especially younger ones, because yeah. you actually know it from those yeah. perspective. I, I mean, these kids who are putting out YouTube videos hoping yeah. to get discovered. Things are so different. I feel so yeah. weird being on that point. Because even when I was younger and when we were starting, I don't feel like things were as different as they are now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was still the same kind of vibe. It was still like, everyone was just touring, working hard to play music. Your sure advice is still, if you really love it, work hard to do it. Yeah, and not expect, expect right, like, quick results. I mean... Nowadays, just everything's like that. Everyone wants results like that, and so it's like. But then you also, it can go away like that. You know what I'm saying? Though? If you don't have people that like are invested in you and care, then. How many American idols do you know their names? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and they always point out the big ones, and I'm like, but in, there's like four or five, and then how many shows? You know. So it's the same with bands. I think that if you get one big single and you get massive off your first record, it's really hard to maintain like a career of people that like really care about your band. You know, because then you put out next record and say you don't have the big single, people are just, next, you know, the movie. Yeah, and that's the kind of thing. And, and, and people, but that's what bands want to do. Like they see bands with this over whoever that happens to them. Like, oh, that's what we want. <laughs> And because it's not as glamorous to like do the slow route, but now I mean we feel so thankful because now with our last year, people are so close to us and we have like connection with them. We talk about you know stories and like I saw you when I was in middle school and like you know you were my favorite band. So it's like that kind of stuff is like just more meaningful to me and like that was our goal with even this final year. It's like when we're gone, when we're done, we want people to look back and, and remember those times and like feel connected to us and and have those memories opposed to like, yeah, that, I, I remember that one song on the radio or whatever, you know, so. You cool. seem a lot more grounded to doing it the hard way. Yeah. Sure. And you had the foresight to decide that the band was going to be able to yeah, and that's all the big plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And to still all get along. And, and See, that's great. It's pretty rare. We feel very, very thankful that it's at that point to be able to, I mean, most of the time bands break up and it's over like that because it's just they hate each other. <laughs> they could never even do another record or a tour together because it just it's like so painful. But for us, it's just it's like an exciting year because we're just having fun. We're like, and it's what we've always done. So now it's like you've been working long enough to retire. Yeah, that's, how, that's really how it feels to us. We're like, you know, we feel like we said everything we wanted to say. We put out seven albums that we're about to, and some of my favorite bands have like four or five albums. So we've already like more than we ever imagined we would put out. So it's like. Instead of, we just didn't want to be that band, and not that there's anything wrong with this, but we didn't want to be that band that's like, oh, they're still together. Like, <laughs> you hear them playing at like a venue with like 15 kids. That just always made us sad, and we always kind of bowed to each other. We would never do that, no matter how hard the decision is to call it. Because that's tough to, to know your time. So when we had the conversations, it was like 
really emotional, but it was like, it felt, it felt right. It was like, this is, this is right. Excellent. Mm. Will you guys be coming through Albuquerque again on one of your farewell Yeah, we've been like slow. I think we're releasing dates now just because of the war tour. We've been working on the war tour. But as war tour goes, we'll be on the team. We'll do a full final. Because I'm sure the war tour attracts a certain kind of tournament. Oh, yeah. Especially with the, like, yeah, like I was saying, how much we stand out. It's like, well, I think if they, I think yeah. the majority of our fans are like, I can either you know, pay this much and sit in the sun for like yeah. however many hours just to see them for three days, or I could wait and go see them for two hours. You know what I mean? Like so, it's a determined yeah, yeah, yeah. Tour. The ones that want to be at every show are there, which is really cool of them for sure. So we're doing this anyway just because it's kind of just because it's our last it's year, fun. and it is fun. And now that there are a few friends that are on it, this we're just hanging every day. So that works. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you taking of the course. time to sit down and talk to so us. Much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it means and a lot. good luck to you. I Thank hope you find you. something absolutely fabulous to do when you're done. Thank you so much. Somehow, Me though, too. from talking to you, I am not the least bit worried. Oh, uh, thank you so I'm much. I'm quite sure you'll find something new to do. Thanks a lot. Thank you.